Growing up here in Aravaca was one of those blessings. I didn't have the skate park. I didn't have technology. You know, I remember my mom saying, all right, it's time to go outside and be home by dinner time. And we would go play hide and go seek out in the wilderness. My parents owned 17 acres on the Aravaca Creek. That creek really was the slate for me to ask a lot of natural questions. There was another area called Harness's Pond. Um, we had a rope swing, we would catch frogs, <laughs> and we would fish all the time. And it was a swimming hole for us. And now those, those areas are gone. The way that water used to percolate into the ground and shifted. And we're only talking, you know, 25, 30 years ago. The water, rather than sheet flowing across a landscape, it's channelizing into these arroyos and then hitting larger washes and just there's a degradation of landscape. I would really like to see the generations to come take the time to learn about natural resources and to invest in the natural world.